Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, awesome. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Bazooka. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Jersey. I'm told sports gambling is legal here. And we got a good UFC fight right now. Oh, wow. Sports gambling is legal. John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John Anik knows how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry. Tonight, we will give you a great fight. A great city. There is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground changes. She's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot. Oh, she caught the kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without it. Oh, I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, under three minutes now to go in round. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, would you look at that? It does not get much better. Perfect. Eamon Ari roll right into a heel hook attempt. Let's see if she can finish this fight. Oh, nice. with the punch. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Nice hammer fist. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Is that a huge strike right there? Great shot landing. Now she got to be chased and down. To get another one off the spike. Oh, we'll keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. And this might just be a matter of time. And that will do it! Wow! Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bazooka! Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party tonight as she gets it done by way of submission. Thankfully, Daniel Cormier uh, is on the list. I'll be on the outside looking. I mean, John, I got you. We're going in together. <laughs> I'm not going in without my partner. But, man, she's a great grappler. She understands positioning so well. 